Hi y'all, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? Well, this is September 7th, 2020, and this is for the week of September 7th, 2020 through September 13th, 2020, which says I'm a little late on getting this out because it's a holiday and I was on vacay. And I did have an awesome time on vacay and I came back and I'm feeling better. And I, I mean, I wasn't sick or anything. It's just that vacation always opens your mind and lets you see other things and, and do some different thinking. So as you all know, the other day while I was at the Myrtles, I opened Fiona, Fiona Horn's Magic of You Oracle deck. And I am in love with this deck. So I pulled a card for y'all. And it says, Mosaic, let chance play its creative role in your life. So what that card is saying is that there are some things going on, Gemini, in your life. And right now you're undecided on them. And maybe there's six of one, half a dozen the other. So what you want to do, I would say for you this week, is sit down and maybe do a vision board. Think about what it is you want to have happen this year. We have moved into a new area and we've only got four months left, but it's still time to make 2020 a great year for you. But you're going to have to look for those opportunities. It's there for you. It really is there for you, Geminis, but you're going to have to be open to it. And sometimes being open to things is hard. You're like, nope, I don't want to. Don't want to, don't want to, don't want to. But if you don't, if you're not open to something, you might miss an opportunity of a lifetime. I know, that's scary though. Then I got, I pulled a card from the Cheryl Richardson self-care cards. Now I'm going to tell you a little story about these. I am not a thrift store, store shopper, mainly because it takes a lot of time and I don't have a lot of time. So, I got these cards a few years ago in Hawaii when I was there with my daughter and one of her besties. And they wanted to go into a thrift store. I am not a thrift store shopper, but they are. They love them. Not so much me. But, of course, we were together, so I went in with them because it's time to bond, blah, blah, blah. And those girls couldn't shop. I didn't find anything I really wanted. I found a vest that I have yet to ever wear. And in fact, I should give that away if I, next time I see it, I'm going to give it away because I've never, ever, ever worn it. But I pulled a card for us from that, or from Gemini's for that, and it's faith. Have faith. Faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. Well, that can be faith in yourself. That can be faith in your decision. It doesn't have to be faith in God or the goddess or whatever. There is just, there's so much types of faith. We have faith when we sit down in a chair because we're having faith that it's not going to bust and we're not going to hit the floor. That's faith. When we get in our car in the morning and turn it on, that's faith. When we go to work expecting to be paid, we are having faith that our boss is going to pay us. So we have faith in a lot of things that we never think about. So this is just saying that right now you're questioning things. You're not quite sure where to go. Have faith that you know you. Now, the first card I get in tarot is the Six of Swords. Once again, it's reversed, so let's flip it over. The Six of Swords is saying that you're leaving something behind that has been bad. I mean, it's been rocky waters, and it's been because you've got all this water over here. And you got all these swords ahead of you protecting you, but as you leave and you're ending, you're mourning that. You're sad about those changes. Now you're moving over into calmer waters. Um, you're going towards something awesome. The next card we get is temperance. So flip it over because it was reversed. Temperance is all about using your time wisely, but it's also about doing, don't go crazy. For example, when I was a teenager, I was in love with dogs. Well, I still like dogs in case you don't know that. But 
All I would ever talk about is dogs if I had a captive audience. I ran a boyfriend off, my first boyfriend off, because I talked about dogs so much. Mainly because I was afraid of him because he might want to kiss me and I was too young. But you know how that goes. Um, so that was how I dealt with my fear. So use your, be temperate. Don't jump in ahead first, even though you're moving to something good. Even though you're going to let chance have a play this week. Even though you're going to have faith in yourself. Don't go whole hog. But at the same time, once again, we're getting the Four of Cups flipping over. And this cut shows that you've got these three cups at your here, and you got one cup there, and you're bored, and you're like, I don't want it. Don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. And that could have been me that day in Hawaii where I didn't want to go thrift shopping because I don't like it. And I got this awesome Oracle deck out of it. Which I think it is was really meant to be. Did I know that at the time? No. You are the only one who knows what's going to happen for you right now. But I believe that this is that week that you make that vision board. Or this is that week that you chart out where you're going. You've got everything at your fingertips. And you need to know what where you're going for the rest of 2020. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text 405-512-9400 or go on my Facebook page, Belladonna Moonbeams. And if not, I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.